Hi, I'm Dave. I own Reliable Response. Our product, Reliable Response Notification, is an IT emergency notification product. Its purpose is to contact IT employees when there is an emergency that they need to pay attention to. It integrates in with a number of different applications. One that we're going to be using today is called Nagios. The purpose of today's video is to show off our new integration with the Nabastag bunnies. These are cool little stylized plastic bunnies. You can get them from ThinkGeek or on nabaztag.com, N-A-B-A-Z-T-A-G.com. And they'll tell you the news, they'll play you the radio, they will tell you the air quality, um, read you jokes, all sorts of stuff. And here I'm going to show you how you can receive your Nagios alerts on your bunny. We have in front of you my little internal Nagios server, and over here is a reliable response notification system. First thing that we're going to do is we're going to start off by sending in a couple passive results to say that the service is down. This is just a fake service, um, and I use it for this exact purpose, and I find putting in a couple uh, critical alerts helps out a lot. Doing it more than once speeds things along. Now while we're waiting for Nagios to notice these alerts, I'll tell you some of the purpose of using a Nabaz tag. It's not just that they're cool and that they're cute and that they're fun to have around, which is certainly true for all of those. But the purpose of these is to be able to notify you when you're in the office but not at your desk. A lot of IT people spend a lot of time in triage, talking with each other over at someone else's desk. So one thing is that the alerts can come in and you can get it via text-to-speech, like we have here. So this is the text-to-speech integration. You get it read, read to you over the phone, which is nice. So we'll confirm it like that. And in a minute or two, the um, notification server will pick up the confirmation. But what we're really looking for is the Nabaz tag integration. The Nabaz tag takes 30 seconds, 45 seconds to actually pick up the notification. We send it to their web server, it goes through their system, gets sent out over Wi-Fi, and uh, should be coming in soon. We support a variety of other devices, email of course, pagers of course, sent to instant messengers, AIM, Yahoo, MSN, Jabber, Gmail, which is Jabber, uh, same time. You can track which uh, ones have been received by looking over here. It already picked up the confirmation, so let's open that one up. And you can see that um, the text -to speech is still pending. Uh, same time was not able to be received, I'm not logged in. Uh, but everything else seems to have gone through. Here you can see the responses, and you can see, ah, here we go. You can choose a variety of voices and you can set your own uh, choreography. And I chose the sultry female French voice. Now the Nagios alert is very technical with lots of asterisks, 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 and brackets and stuff, IP addresses, but you could hear 127.0.0.1, that's localhost, and the fact that it was an error, it was a basic web test, all that sort of stuff tells you that uh, what exactly is going wrong, and so you can hear it, you can see it, you can be alerted directly after something happens, even if you're not sitting at your desk, if you don't have your IM turned on, if you don't have your cell phone on you, this is another way of receiving your alerts. And it's so cute. Thank you.